How do we get over the shame and guilt of our lives and our addictions so we can move on in our recovery? Hey, I'm Adam Vibe Gunton, founder and executive director of Recovered On Purpose. Today, we're gonna talk about two emotions I hear come up a lot that can keep some of us stuck and afraid to continue the work, shame and guilt. This video will show you exactly how the fourth and fifth steps from the big book of AA are powerful tools to heal from these emotions and move on with our lives in recovery, happy, joyous, and free. These steps aren't just about recovery from addiction. They help you find freedom from the weight you've been carrying for years. If you've been struggling with these emotions, this video will show you how working these steps can bring peace and a new purpose to your life. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this YouTube channel and share this out to anyone you know would benefit from healing from their shame and guilt. First, what exactly are shame and guilt and how are they different from each other? Shame and guilt can feel similar, but they actually affect us in different ways. Guilt is the regret we feel over specific actions we've taken in the past or things we know we've done wrong. Shame is a bit deeper. It's a core belief that we are what is wrong, that we are the ones that are unworthy or broken to the core, causing us to live in a place of fear to move on in our lives. Guilt can be a powerful tool when looked at in the perspective that it motivates us to make changes so we do not do these actions we see as wrong and regretful again. Shame, on the other hand, keeps us stuck until we reach the fundamental place of a belief that we are not what is wrong. God is able to flow into us and give us the power needed to change, and we can live according to His will, free from the past. Steps four and five in the big book are designed to bring these emotions into the open by recognizing the character defects we have acted upon in our past that cause these emotions to come up to the surface in our lives. The fourth step of AA involves making a searching and fearless moral inventory of our lives listing our resentments, fears, sex conduct. And if I'm sponsoring you, we put a little asterisk next to each person on the inventory we caused harm to. This is where shame and guilt come to the surface because we have often neatly evaded the facts of our actions for so long in our lives. And then here they are written down on paper before us. But the point is doing this fearlessly and writing them down through any of these emotions so they are in existence on paper and we can work on them instead of allowing them to drive our disease, taking us to the gates of hell on earth or death. One of the most heartbreaking examples I see so often is when someone I am helping went through something when they were a small child and they carry the shame with them as if it is their fault. I have said this in past videos and wanna make it very clear. If you were hurt by an adult or someone older when you were a child, you are not to blame. There is nothing wrong with you, and this work will help you understand and move through this so it stops driving your addiction. The goal of the fourth and fifth step is not to punish ourselves for the past or to punish the people we resent for the wrongs committed to us, but it's about bringing all the things we have kept secret to the forefront of our minds with God and someone else so we can work through the way they are driving our decisions in life that ultimately lead us to needing a drink or drug. The short amount of time it takes to do this step, if you actually sit down and do it, will give you freedom from these things for the rest of your life when done correctly, or will give you excellent understanding to pursue deeper therapy with a professional. A lot of us need therapy. Do the fourth and fifth step really well and see if it doesn't change your perspective about the necessity in your own situation. Maybe this work will become the therapy you needed to unlock your whole life, like it did for me. Now for the fifth step and working on releasing the shame and guilt for good. The fifth step calls for us to share with God, ourselves, and another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. The wrongs we are talking about here are the character defects you and your sponsor will find as they are revealed to you through this work by God. Speaking about them with someone else not only helps us understand them, but it helps us to begin recognizing them when they come up in recovery so we can change our actions and live according to who God would have us be. When we make a sincere effort to do this, as well as continue on to the amends process, the shame and guilt from the past simply slip away from us. And then the only time we feel it is when we do something in recovery we regret, which sucks because we don't become perfect. But we are able to do this work again to right the wrongs and release the shame and guilt in our lives through the tools we learn which were laid at our feet. Through this process, you will also learn how to forgive the people who harmed you You'll do the fourth step prayer for them and begin moving on from those things. But another powerful result is forgiving yourself. I was a gutter variety addict. And although I wasn't out committing crimes and stealing in my addiction like many of us were, the only people I stole from were my dad and my best friend. 
I still remember being so sick, I could barely move and crawling into my best friend and roommate's room while he was sleeping and taking $100 from his wallet. It used to break my heart thinking about it. But here I am telling you because I have done the work around it, made the amends, forgiven myself, and used the story to let you know I get it and that recovery is possible. You see me making content on the fourth and fifth step so much because not only was the obsession lifted for me the day after I did my fifth step, but I have helped dozens of sponsees through these steps and watched their lives change too. If you're sitting on this process, get to work. There are guides for every part of the fourth step on our website, recoveredonpurpose.org, with worksheets for each part of the inventory process. I give my sponsees two weeks because that is what was given to me and it ultimately saved my life. Why sit in the shame and guilt of the past when there is a simple step-by-step -step process right in front of you to radically change your emotional and mental well-being, freeing you from drugs and alcohol? Dang, that's a really good question. So get to work by watching the complete guide to the fourth step here or starting the resentment inventory here. I'll see you again real soon. And until I do, keep living recovered on purpose.